I'm going to go ahead and do a live ROM review of the Carbon ROM. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Now the installation instructions are over at uh, my site over here at forum.highonandroid.com. Let me go ahead and switch the camera and we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, the ROM here. And sorry, I actually made the whole video and I was going to edit it out, but my microphone was way too high. Uh, so I had to actually, I was like, screw it, I'm, I'm just going to do live. And plus, I want to test out 1440p. So I am doing this in actual 1440p. Um, so if you can see it in 1440p, do let me know. And let me just load up your comment section here just, just to see uh, if you guys are actually um, watching. Um, so let's go over the Carbon ROM here. That's what I'm running on my OnePlus 8 Pro. Carbon ROM is a, uh, available for many other phones. Now, one of you guys asked me, uh, does fingerprint sensor work? So let's go and go over the fingerprint sensor. And you can see it works really, really well. Um, yeah, battery bar. All right, let me go and shoot. And you can find all that in settings and carbon fibers. Uh, carbon fibers. Right now, there's not a ton of customization. So after this ROM, I'm going to probably try another ROM. Uh, if you guys are into a lot more stuff, um, then I do suggest uh, waiting for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and try maybe a few more ROMs. So, uh, power button flashlight. So if I hold down the power button, how simple is that, right? So little features like this is what makes uh, custom ROMs awesome. So I can use a power button to control a flashlight. How many times do I use this on a dark day? Or I get up like my... I don't know, like 4.30 or 6 these days, 4.30 to 5, 6, something like that. And I don't want to wake up anybody, um, so I just use a flashlight. That's kind of cool, huh? Um, so a little feature like that. And um, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, status bar. This is where I can change the battery style. All right, and traffic indicators. If you want to see the actual traffic, you can turn that on and off. Um, let's go look at uh, buttons. This is where you can uh, have the power button as your torch. Make it real simple. Uh, navigation bar, you can change. Now, the reason I li really like this ROM is that it's much faster. The problem I had with Oxygen OS was uh, I would run the ROM and after six months, my phone started like lagging. Like switching between apps became really slow. But with this, it's a lot faster in my opinion. Um, it's a tad faster, but even even a tad faster just makes it, you know, it makes a huge difference. Especially uh, the Oxygen OS ROM would just freeze on me and all those issues are gone. Also, my Wi-Fi strength has um, increased. I don't know if that, I didn't know it was a software thing, but I think it's a software thing. So if you're having some wireless uh, wi Wi-Fi signal issues, my uh, daughter calls Wi-Fi Wi-Fi. Um, definitely check it out and yeah it's it's a pretty good ROM oh let me talk about some of the things that are broken on this ROM because it's still bad uh, beta beta it's a beta ROM uh, the auto screen feature auto brightness does not work well so I just put it on manual that's not a huge deal um, another issue is that there's no face unlock which I like to use so I may move on to another ROM with a face unlock um, but everything works. 5G works really well. Um, there's other stuff you can find. Um, yeah, look, it's a pretty good ROM. It works with dual SIM, but not with it over here. Uh, gaming, it should be really good, in my opinion. Um, I don't play much games, but maybe I'll load up some games later. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this ROM, so check it out. Uh, what else can I tell you? It's it's a really good ROM, and let's actually do, no no no, yeah. If you have any questions about this ROM, just just shoot at me right now. Yo yo. But the instructions are posted over at forum.highonandroid.com. Um, so just go here, and it's just pretty pretty simple install. Just gotta install Flash uh, Twerp, uh, install the ROM, G apps. Make sure make a backup before. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But how is the 1440p? Because I am actually trying to test this out. But we can actually do a double double take here. 
Let's do, uh, let's actually go look at my own live stream real quick. Oh, there it is. But we can actually do a double, double take here. Let's do, uh, let's actually go. Haha. <laughs> uh, so I can stream at 1440p now. Now, my, my Comcast, I don't, I have like 20, 30 up, but to YouTube, I only get like 10 megabits per second upload and I need 20. So that's why I can't do 4K. But 1440 is fine enough. Uh, Carbon ROM, is it available for the Mate 30 Pro? We'll go ahead and take a real quick look here. And you can just go Carbon ROM. Uh, XDA a pro, um, Mate 30 Pro. I don't think it's available because I think... Did you even... Un were you even able to unlock your bootloader because... A Huawei blocked the bootloaders a long time ago, a few years back, so I don't think you can even root it. <laughs> it's it's pretty dead. Uh, you may be able to install firmware through like firmware flashing method. Maybe you should be able to get get it like that. Uh, one plus six, yeah, Carbon Rhyme is available for also one plus six. I actually had a video on it a long time ago, but I like the Havoc ROM for one plus six. So check out the uh, Havoc ROM, but you can get it for, for uh, one plus six. I'm just using this ROM right now because there's not a few, there's not a whole lot of ROMs at this moment, but this one works. So yeah, just go check it out on XDA. But yeah, if you, if you want ROM, ROMs root, uh, you need to avoid Huawei phones because they locked the bootloaders a couple of years ago and you just can't unlock the bootloader. So you, it's your very gonna be very limited. One plus Nord, you should be able to root. Um, yeah, it's out there. Unless you have a carrier branded one, then you're screwed. Yeah. LG V20. There's a. I wouldn't actually recommend Carbon ROM. But yeah, this is sort of an old phone. Uh, last ROM I've installed, I think, was... I forget. But but the LG ROMs are actually better on the LG V20. OnePlus 5, uh, Havoc ROM. I really love the Havoc ROM. Try uh, Havoc ROM for OnePlus 5. Yay. Latest version is Android nine, based on Android 9.0. Uh, that should be pretty good. I think Android 9, Android 10... Are, are probably the best stable versions. Even Android 9 is pretty good. Uh, Android 8 is sort of falling out. I think it's always a year or two old uh, Android versions that are the best. Xiaomi Mi A3, Xiaomi Mi A3 Carbon ROM. For the S20 Plus, I don't think there's actually any, a lot of ROMs we can look together. But this is what all I do. I just Google it. Like, you don't have to ask me. You can just Google it yourself and you can find all at XDA. <laughs> Here, this is. Let me Google. I love this site. Do you guys love this site? Look, just, just go like these. If you have somebody who keeps asking you something you can Google online, you go like this, get link, and then send it. Send them this link. And then, and then. <laughs> It fills it out for you. It's a it's a great way to troll people. Click here. Hey, what's up, Greg? Yeah, we're just talking about um, some ROMs. So S twenty ROM Snapdragon Exynos. Okay, let's look at Exynos. You'll have to have Exynos version, by the way. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install Android eleven here after this video. A uh, Poco phone. Is a lot of fun. I still have the. I got the original Poco Phone F1. I could install so many ROMs. That phone was so cheap. Uh, for S20 Plus, there's a bunch of repacks, GSI repacks. So instead of installing GSI, you can get GSI repacks. They're just basically more customized. Uh, some of the bugs fixed because GSI sometimes have a lot of problems out of the box. But you see, there's no ROMs. There's like literally one Samsung ROM. The development for, uh, the only thing you can really get is these uh, GSI ROMs. That should not be bad, but 
It's like literally dead. Because all of the all the US developers left Samsung, like when Samsung locked the bootloaders. Because it's they make it so hard. Yeah, one plus six. Try Havoc ROM. Try Havoc ROM. Yeah, try Havoc ROM for, for one plus six. Hello, hello, Devin Bot. What up? What up, Mark? Uh, no, I haven't done anything done with Mi 9, but I'm gonna, I wanna, I'm gonna get the dust off and try so installing a few ROMs. Yeah. Cool, what's up? Jeremy Wambugu. Poco Phone F1, yay. You guys like this? <laughs> That's great. Um, Poco Phone F1 with, oh, Evolution X. Uh, did I try that one? Yeah, Nexus days were kind of fun. Nexus 1, Nexus... Uh, remember I started with Nexus 1. Moto, Motorola, Moto Edge 5G, Moto Edge... I'm not... I think... I don't think anyone's installing any ROMs on those. Motorola phones have very poor support. But we'll check it out. Probably no ROMs. Look. <laughs> Look at this! It, oh, sorry. Look at this! Empty. Nobody cares for Motorola. Just don't get a Motorola phone, man. They, they're dead. Ever since no Lenovo bought it, they just dug it to the ground. They just now they make like these budget devices. I don't even, I don't even know what they're making, you know. But I'm gonna stick with uh, phones that are easy to root and have a lot of ROMs from now on because that's the only way you can really customize your, you know, phone. And what's the point of using a phone that you can't customize? It's just like, you bought a car, I want to add a big turbo. But Samsung's like, no. Why would you want to buy a phone that you can't modify, you know? That's the whole fun of having a phone. Because, you know, stock ROMs, you get really tired of it. No matter how many features it has, you want to try something new after a while. It's like you buy a router, you know? Like, I used to buy all the Linksys routers and then install the open WWRT. Everything I buy, any kind of gadget, if there's like a custom a firmware, I'll, I'll be the one first one to install it, you know? That's a lot of fun. I mean, I've installed Hackintosh on my PCs. That was fun. I've installed Linux on my... Uh, Linux, my, my friend gave me a free MacBook like 10 years ago, right? So I, I refuse to use Apple product. I hate iOS, you know? So I installed uh, Ubuntu. <laughs> That's, that's the fun of it. People ask, why do you root? Also, I can customize my stuff and install different software. And, and that's how you learn about technology, you know? I'm installing, you know, all these different things. Yeah, oh yeah, they want to lock you down. They, they want to make you dumb. That's that's why they give you stock firmware with bootloader. We only want you to use Samsung. Samsung products. That's why it's bloatware. Bloatware with Samsung. And that's why Samsung phones, sometimes they, they can slow down a lot, you know? You have all this stuff, like, all this, like, VR, if you're not using Gear VR, you absolutely don't need, like, extra 500 megabytes of storage taking up your system. But every Samsung phone has support for VR, so you see their, their, their firmware files are gigantic, filled with stuff you don't need. So if you don't use that, just, you just install custom ROM and, you know, make it real fast. What's my thoughts on having iPhone having five of the most, ten most selling phones? Well, this is like the the whole world is you know. They don't understand like the the thing with open source. You know, you have to support open source. Open source is everywhere now. You know, Android. Um, you know, all your web servers, even gambling machines in Las Vegas, they're all run by Linux now. It's a revolution of knowledge, snootiness. Yeah, there's no excuse for the snootiness. Uh, battery life is pretty good. It seems a lot better than oxygen ROM, but the only thing is you can't change the um, you can't change the resolution, so you're stuck on 1440p, and also you can't change the um, the hertz. It's at it's stuck at 120 hertz. So, but it it gets pretty good battery life. Way better at battery life than oxygen ROM. But I wish I could turn it off so I can get even better battery life. Sunset Ridge, I don't know. 
Yeah, so before you buy the phone, if you're planning on installing custom ROM, go check on XTA, see if you can root it. If you can't root it, then buy another phone. Don't buy, like, I get, this is like, I get 10 questions per day on people like, I bought a US Samsung phone. I bought a US LG phone. Can I unlock the bootloader, you know? Mr. Dankbong needs to, uh, needs to get out of here. Smoking too much stink. <laughs> uh, Poco phone, yeah, Poco phone F1 is great. Pixel experience is good if you want to get that Pixel experience. You can even get the Pixel Assistant to work, make um, take calls for you. Maybe I'll have, I'll have a video on that, but that one's good. But it doesn't have a lot of features. I like Havoc ROM because you got a ton of customization. Resurrection Remix. They're all very similar, you know. But it's always something. Sometimes one of them work a little bit better than the other. One of them has less bucks, so it's, it's try all of them out and see which one works for you. When you flash auction the OS, it gets stuck on boot loop. So what you gotta do is you gotta actually unbrick it. One plus one pluses are a little tricky when you once it's on custom ROM because the stock firmware sometimes won't flash with twerp. You're supposed to be able to, but sometimes you have trouble. Um, so you can you can use fast boot method to do it, but I, I like just doing it straight, the factory method. Then it's it's really easy. Mr. Dankbong is back. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go because I, I wasn't gonna try to answer questions, but I answered some questions. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but Carbon ROM, check it out. Really like it. Uh, I'll have more videos soon.